Hello, everybody. We finally know the new map, as you guys probably already know by the uh, the video I posted this morning. But yeah, it's it's a Finland map. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. I gotta say, hearing 19 species just blew my mind. I can't believe we're actually gonna have a map with 19 species. Now, I'm sure most of them will be birds, which I'm totally okay with that. You know, if we get a great map that has a bunch of bird species, then that's just gonna be so much fun. And with the waterfowl rework and stuff coming, I got a feeling this is gonna be one of the best maps that they've made. And plus, I mean, whitetail and moose on another map as well is amazing. Like, that's going to be pretty sweet, having brown bear as well, the raccoon dogs, like, so much cool stuff. Hm, decent mythical to start things out with, nice. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, Mason, for sure, dude, for sure, for sure. I don't know how to properly pronounce it, but, you know, it is what it is. They're still really cool. Regardless of my uh, lack of being able to pronounce their name. I am excited for them. They're beautiful birds. Very beautiful birds. Hey, Duxton. Hey, Shots. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Llama. Hey, uh, Cobb. CG. PW. Uh, Robman. Allo. Frantic. Hunter Man. How's everybody doing? Hey, Polly. How have you been? All right, so it looks like that was the only one there. Let's go get it. Let's go pick that big male up. Nice, Frantic. That's awesome, dude. That's uh, pretty awesome. Um, If I were to take a guess how many of them would be birds, I'd say... I'm going to guess probably like 10 of them. If I were to take a guess, I'm guessing we get at least 10 birds. But uh, then again, you never know. To be honest, I'm hoping that we get as many birds as possible because that's one thing the game kind of lacks is bird species. So it'd be nice to see a ton of them. Pepper Kaylee? Got you. Okay. I thought it was similar to that, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't like quite put my finger on what it was. Hey, JJ, how's it going, man? It's good to see you back. I hope you're excited for this map. It looks to be a pretty good one. Uh, yeah, Polly. We are trying to uh, get some more great ones before this update drops because I got a feeling that I won't be leaving that map for a while once uh, this update hits. So I'm going to try and get a great one red deer again and a great one white tail. Hopefully we can get both of them before this update. Though, uh, we'll be lucky if we get one, to be honest. How did we not kill this one? Where did he go? There he is. How did we not drop him on the second shot? I guess third time's a charm, right? Yeah, neither was I, Zots. Neither was I. Hope there's a kind of crow on Finland. That would be cool. We don't have a crow species yet, so I'd be down to uh, hunt one of my own kind. Thinking five big game, four small medium game, and then the birds? Probably, Johnny. That uh, seems like a pretty decent balance. So I would imagine it is something like that. Yeah, skinny llamas for sure. I think a lot of people are wanting uh, Africa and Australia, but... Like I was saying a while ago, I think that that's more suited to a December release so that they can kind of try to take some of the hype away from games like Ultimate Hunting. Because I feel like that's the uh, the smart business choice would be to release an Africa map around that time. So who knows? Maybe we'll get one around then. Maybe we'll get an Africa or an Australia in December. Hard to say. I'd like to see it. But I'd also like to see uh, like a Texas map as well. But I'm really happy about the uh, Finland. That's going to be cool. Uh, yeah, Dwayne. I don't think it means anything, though. They would have shown something like that off if it uh, if it was a feature. 
I don't think they could really do boats that well in the game, to be honest. I think it would cause a lot of issues with crashing and uh, bugginess. I really don't think we'll ever get boats. But I mean, I could be wrong. You never know. Maybe, Johnny. Maybe. Oh, nice. We actually did get that mail. It wasn't very good, but he still hit. Well, you know, he was a decent red deer until old Scarecrow came along and just blasted him. Not gonna lie, Polly, I'm pretty excited for Way of the Hunter. Maybe even more than I was for Ultimate Hunting. Oh, and also, I saw a few questions about this, so I'll, uh, real quickly let you guys know. The, uh, the, uh, Capricali, or however it's pronounced, in the thumbnail is actually from EW's, uh, YouTube page. They made it their background and, like, didn't announce it at all. So, if you want to see the full picture, it's on the uh, background of the Expansive Worlds YouTube page. It's their uh, YouTube banner. Pretty cool that they just kind of like snuck that in there. Unfortunately, I, I finished making my video before I realized it. So yeah, that's why it's not in the video, but it's in the uh, thumbnail. It's because uh, I, I didn't even know it was a thing until I had already made the video. It really is, Johnny. I'm so, so impressed. You know, the thing about Call of the Wild is every time that we think it can't get better, they always one-up themselves and give us something that's even better than the last thing. Unfortunately, Mississippi kind of lost its hype after a while, and a lot of people didn't enjoy it a couple months after release as much as they did when it was first released. But uh, this map looks to be one that'll keep our interest a lot longer with 19 species to look for diamonds and rares. Like, that's just unheard of levels of replayability. It's crazy. Hey, Destiny, how's it going? How did I... Okay, how did I hit a hind? I thought I only shot stags. Oh, well. Uh, nothing has been announced, Chance. They've just barely shown off what the map is. They haven't even talked about the species yet. Except for, like, a couple of them. Well, the way I see it, Mason, is um, if it's a lot of waterfowl and upland birds, I don't think there will be a lot of bugs. And as you've also noticed, it's been two months since an update, and most likely this update won't be out until June. That gives them plenty of time to iron out bugs, a lot longer than normal. Typically, we get an update every one to two months, but this update is taking, like, a minimum three months. Which means they've probably been spending more time making sure that it's working right. And as you've noticed with the last two updates, it's progressively got less and less buggy. Hope Black Grouse look good. Been wanting Grouse since the game came out. Me too, man. I'm excited to see Grouse on the list as well. I'm hoping there's multiple Grouse species. That's also a possibility because, like, we only know like five or six of the species so far. The rest of them have been unannounced and unshown. But already we've got whitetail and moose, which are two pretty popular species. Brown bear badly needed a new map. So it's good to see brown bear there as well. And then the raccoon dogs and the uh, capricallies are going to be pretty good. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I did hear that, Ben. I did hear that. What weapon am I hoping to get with the new map? I'd like a 12 gauge semi-automatic. Hard to say what we'll get though. That's a good mythical. Lots of big males, jeez. Lots of big males here. Actually, lots of red deer and Oh my gosh, I haven't had this many of this area in ages. One partridge in the game, one of my most wanted species. You never know, man, maybe we'll get it. 
there's so many unannounced species, it's just insane. I'm so curious to see what they're going to be. Maybe, Parker. That's definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility. I just love how many options there is for this map. Like, there is so many different things that it could be. That could be on the map. And, you know, let's not, uh, let's not forget about how hard Jaxie was hinting about a new great one as well. I think he made it pretty clear at this point that there's a new great one. And I'm really hoping it'll be one of the new species with a great one, because it would be huge for the game if a map entered Call of the Wild with a brand new species that has a great one. That would just be an unheard of thing and it would be amazing. Where's that big mythical? We somehow missed it. I don't, I don't know how. Uh-oh, that guy's gonna get away. I mean, we hit him. It wasn't good, though. That's a lot of red deer down, but... Oh, man. Oh, that'd be cool, Ben. Oh, definitely, Mel, but the fact that he's done it two in a row, I think, is the biggest confirmation. That's definitely the biggest thing for me, is they've done it two streams in a row, hinting at a great one. And you guys, you guys already know, that's going to mean that this map's going to be the first map with two great ones, like I predicted. It's going to be the first map with two great ones, because Whitetail are there, which have a great one. And there's a new great one coming with the update, it seems. That's insane. Two great ones on one map. That's like twice the chances at getting an initial spawn whenever they release the map. And uh, twice the things to grind for on that map. Well, obviously, there's way more than twice to grind for, but two great ones to grind for, which is amazing. Okay, this red deer is going to be a long ways away. We're not going to worry about him. Maybe three? Could be. I would like to see red deer there, but I'm not an entirely familiar with whether or not red deer are in Finland. But even if red deer are, like, near Finland, there's a possibility they would add them. I don't think so, Drayden, because uh, he, he specifically phrased it as new great one. A new great one. So I, I think it's pretty safe to say the last time they hinted this hard at something like a great one, it, it was because there was one. I doubt that we that we're trying to that they're trying to throw us off. I highly doubt it. They even capitalized uh, great in one of their posts. Pretty, pretty uh, good chance it's a great one. Robert Duck, great one. Yes, totally. Yeah, that'd be cool, Parker. I think the Whitetail has enough great one racks, but uh, I could definitely see the Red Deer getting a couple more. Currently, it's only got two. So I would definitely be okay with some more racks for the Red Deer great one. Hello there, you dead deer. Got him. What animals do I think there will be? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really looked into it too much what Finland can have, so I'd have to do some research before really giving you a straight answer on it. Definitely, Mel. Definitely. I mean, the two we have are amazing, don't get me wrong, but variety is always great. It's what keeps people uh, coming back to grind for them more. All right, I think it was just those two. Actually, I just saw one. Ooh, oh my gosh, that shot. Wow, <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know why. It, it, it's not like it's that insane to drop a uh, red deer when it's running, but it just surprises me every time because I'm not expecting it. 
I always expect Red Deer to run a little ways. So it shocks me when they just drop like that. Oh, Spinal Cord. That explains it. Yeah, Wolverines would be awesome. I I think there's a high chance that if Wolverines are in that area, they'll probably add them. It seems like they're going with a small game and birds on this map. Just based off of... Oh, I did not mean to shoot. Just based off the species that they've uh, revealed so far. I'd say there's a decent chance of it. Maybe even beavers. Not sure, Soup Boy. I'm hoping for a 12-gauge uh, semi-automatic. A 4-gauge? <laughs> yes, let's, uh, let's bring that bad boy in. I forgot the name of it. I know it's a Russian shotgun, but I can't remember the name of it. Hello, Red Deer. Why are you hiding? I mean, I can understand why they would be hiding, but come on, man. Show me where you are. Oh, it's 2121. That explains it. That explains it. They are uh, at the end of their drink time. Yeah, NS, it's pretty crazy. I'm trying to remember its name. Nah, it's not the uh, Baikil or Baikil. Let me look it up real quick. I've used it a million times in Escape from Tarkov, so. The KS-23, that's it. The KS-23. It is a powerhouse of a shotgun. That thing could blow a hole in an elephant, I swear. Um, excuse me, sir. Why are you here? Well, what are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. What map is this? Uh, this is Tiawaroa. Which will be getting a pretty big uh, update soon. What new small game rifle would you want for the new map besides a new shotgun? Uh, if it was for small, like a small game rifle, I'd probably want a 17 HMR. I think that would be the best option for a rifle. Either that or... I don't know. Hard to say. Oh, definitely, Dustin. I feel like we'll get a new goose species. Or at least Canada geese, like, e at least Canada geese. Hey, Winter Wolf, how's it going? Yeah, me too, Dwayne. I hope we get them. Same shots. It's going to be huge having uh, them in the daytime instead of nighttime. I just hope I don't lose out on uh, my super effective grinding methods. Because right now, I have Tiawaroa down, like, so well to the point where I can kill 50 to 60 red deer every hour. I'm going to be kind of sad if I can't do that anymore. But uh, either way, I feel like it's going to be better because we'll be able to hunt them in the daytime. So that alone is going to make it worth it, probably. Where's this guy? We just heard him. Oh, hey. There we go. Uh, no, Smooth, it's not. It hasn't even been fully revealed. They just showed like a quick teaser trailer today. Oh, we passed it. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Wilbur, for sure, man. I would love to see Wolverine. It would be a pretty fine choice. What is the raccoon dog it said in your last video? So, from what I did research-wise this morning, it sounds like raccoon dog is one of the 
like oldest species of wild dog and they look very similar to a raccoon from what I was reading it says that they are one of the oldest species of wild dog and they resemble a raccoon they're roughly the same size I believe 13 pounds it said something like that it's gonna be cool Oh, me too, EH. I think this is going to be the best map they've released. Just hearing 19 species blew my mind. Even if it's, even if like 15 of the 19 species are birds in small game, it's going to be an amazing map. Like having that much variety to bounce between is going to be huge. Dude, there's more red deer. They're just everywhere. We're getting invaded by red deer today. All right, let's go reset the time. It's like a coyote with a raccoon fur type, kind of. They're gonna be cool. I'm excited for them. Ah, uh, not really anything, uh, Tram Brothers. You didn't miss much. We'd just been uh, chatting about the new map that was announced and. Uh, kind of talking about what we expect to see out of it. Anything over here yet? I just switched the time, so I'm not expecting to see much here yet. But I figured it's worth it since I didn't get to finish that run. Yeah, me too. I like small game hunting. Oh. Is that a, uh... No, it's not a piebald. Okay. Okay. For some reason I thought piebald when I looked at it, but I guess it's not. It's just a regular red deer, sadly. Hm, nice mythical. And we're out. Beautiful. An air shotgun. <laughs> oh, man. Thinking great one grouse. Both the whitetail and red deer are some of the most traditional game species. The grouse would fit well with that. Yeah, maybe. I do think the new great one will be a, a uh, bird species. It just makes sense. Waterfowl rework. A map with more bird species than ever before it would make sense that the new great one would be a bird as well I'm kind of banking on it being a uh, waterfowl species though I feel like it'll be a waterfowl species Ooh, ooh! I just thought of something what if that's one of the reasons why they've been showing the mallard duck in a lot of these uh, teaser images maybe it's a mallard great one maybe we're getting a mallard great one I think that would be a possibility. What do you guys think? You think uh, the fact that they've shown mallard ducks in all their teaser posts means anything, or do you think maybe it's just because they didn't want to give away too much? Could be either, really. I would love it, Lambie. We need something different, like the the last two great ones. I've been red deer and whitetail. Uh, we need a great one that's either a small game or a bird just to switch things up. Because I definitely want to see something different, like something that you grind in a different way than just drink zone hunting. Being able to, uh, being able to hunt them the way that you would hunt waterfowl would be cool. Looking for a great one just by calling in ducks. And I think it would add to the excitement even more because it would be like, it would be such a fast, such a fast chain of events, right? You'd spot it. You'd immediately be like, oh my gosh, that's a great one duck. That is a great one duck. It's flying right into me. I have like five seconds to make my decision on what I'm going to do. I think that would make for some really tense and exciting situations. I just imagine a great one uh, mallard duck flying down. You see, like, uh, maybe it's a hybrid duck. Has, like, a special fur type, or I guess feather type it would be. 
but it has like a special feather type. It flies down in front of you. You have like five to ten seconds to react or else it's gone. Obviously, it would come back since they have need zones, but it would be cool to have an experience like that. What if you miss? Well, since Call of the Wild has persistent populations, you'd get another chance eventually. But I just think it would be very exciting. I think there'd be a lot of excitement uh, in a waterfowl great one. Maybe, Johnny. <laughs> Great one moose with a lawn chair in its antlers or an aggressive goose with its own shotgun in its beak. I like those ideas. I mean, geese are known for being pretty aggressive. It would make sense that they would shoot back. I think it's a possibility. Gotta love the, uh, the aggressive geese that decide that they don't like you on their property. That is a small male right there. Well, I mean, uh, that sounds like a you problem, Lambie. If you're willing to quit the game over a great one bird, then uh, maybe this isn't the game for you. I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily want a great one moose, but I'm not going to quit the game if it's a great one moose. Very small male. Very small male indeed. Where did he even go? Here's this big male right here. I like this rack, actually. This is like the really cool version of this rack. It looks so mass heavy and thick. I've always liked this version so much better than the one that makes diamond. Like if they just swapped the small diamond with this guy, it would look really good. I'd love to see this replace the diamond rack. The uh, the uglier diamond rack, not the, not the big rack, but the other one. Would love to see this one be a diamond instead. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Marley. I'd love a great one elk. Uh, Blacktail, Mule Deer, Roosevelt Elk, and Rocky Elk, and Sika Deer are some of my top picks for a great one. But uh, I'd also like to see a small game or a bird great one as well. Of really any kind. Where did our small male go? Did I already pick him up? I think I did, actually. Yeah, I must have already picked him up. Uh, let's reset the time just so we can get back on our normal rotation. Because I started at a lake I normally don't. Yeah, Ario. That would be cool. Like I said, I'm not, uh, I'm not against a great one, Moose. I'd definitely still hunt it. But uh, there's other ones I'd prefer over it. But it would still be cool regardless. And who knows, maybe this map will be the best moose map. If it's a great one moose, I hope this is the best moose map. I hope they make it easier to hunt than Layton and uh, Medved and Yukon for moose, because on those maps, it's really hard to maintain animals at the zones that you shoot them out of. They move around so much. I swear, every moose grind I've done, they move constantly, and I'm constantly having to pick up my tents and move them to other places. I hope it's not the case with, uh, with this new map. Oh, that's, ow, that's so bright. Small male. Boop. A great one brown bear with arrows sticking out of it. Great one brown bear would be kind of cool. I don't think it would be a great one brown bear though, because that's something I've never seen anybody request. Or not very many people at least, so... I don't think they would. It would be cool though. Uh, there's some really cool stuff they could do, uh... Ictia, hopefully I said your name right. Apologies if I didn't. But, uh, some of the non-typical moose actually get pretty insanely large. What do you think? They should add an elephant? Yeah, I, th I think eventually they should. It would be nice to see them 
I don't necessarily see it as a necessity in the game, but it would be cool to have, you know? First diamond was a turkey. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Turkey are cool. Especially the eastern turkey. I love those a lot. Yeah, I hope so too, man. I really want white tail and red deer to be on the same map. If they do white tail and red deer along with a new great one, my gosh, this map's going to be a grinder's paradise. There's our stag. What a what a giant. Nothing yet, vampire. No great ones yet. Okay, he's in front. Good. I don't know, Duxton. Uh, I think there's a chance that it could be something else. I still think that it's going to be one of the new species. Like, Moose is a very highly requested one, but... The moose hype started after what probably would have been the uh, beginning of development on this map because the map would have been in development since probably around the time Mississippi got released and the moose hype really started up after Mississippi's release. So I don't think it would be a great one moose just for that reason. It's possible, but I do think there's a higher chance that it's a different species. Because I feel like a, a great one bird would be pretty easy to make. Uh, what do you mean, Ben? I've been talking about it. We talked about it earlier, and then I mentioned it in the video as well. I like that change. Provided it doesn't, like, completely ruin my uh, efficiency. Since there is going to be a redistribution. Noticing a major lack of stags here. Not a good sign. Definitely going to need to take out some in other areas to get them back, I think. That's kind of an odd-looking one. Well, they are part of it, Joe. They are part of Finland. If you look it up, Whitetail are in Finland. They were uh, imported there, I believe, or brought there. They're not native, but they were brought into Finland. So it is an, an accurate species to have there. Oh, gotcha, Ben. Gotcha. Hey, bro, bro. You still think it's going to be a North American map? <laughs> Probably. It's uh, Finland in, in NA. Me too, Zyphon. I It blew me away when I saw that. Because it looks exactly like the, the ones that I was seeing on Google Images. That, that's one thing that Call of the Wild does well. They always nail the look of the bird species. Like, it, It's kind of insane how close the bird species always look to their real-life counterparts. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, I I can't uh, see your name really that well because it's a kind of small print on my chat, but uh, somebody in chat says we have loads of whitetail in the southern parts of Finland, so there you have it. Whitetail in Finland. What if we took the whole world and pushed it into North America? I like it. I like it. What if, the, what if they made a uh, map that's just the two most popular species from each continent. Uh, maybe, Soup Boy, if they made it, if they made it a little more usable. Currently, the 410 is weak on even, like, the smallest of birds. I tried using it on pheasants, and it took so long for them to die. So I would say if they did add a 410, uh, just, like, a traditional 410 shotgun, they would need to make the longer barrel give it a bit extra damage, like... Because that, that's how it would be in real life, right? The longer the barrel, more energy. And the, uh... Well, the higher the damage output in range, really.
Hopefully the new map is cool. I think it will be just from what we've seen in the, the little quick trailer they put out. It looks beautiful. And some of the screenshots on Steam look amazing as well. Let's just hope that uh, everything ends up running fine and uh, releasing the way that they want it to. I do think this is going to be a cool map. I hope it keeps its enjoyment longer than Mississippi did. Because the thing about Mississippi was I enjoyed it a lot for about a month. And then the following two to three months, it just lost its luster for me. And then recently I've started to, to gain a little bit of enjoyment out of hunting Mississippi again, but still not to the level of when it released. I just hope the map doesn't have that effect, which I don't think it will. I already have you added, Casey. I added you a long time ago. The second that uh, it was announced that it was a thing, I added you. So if it's not working, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Because I already put you as one of my approved uh, users. Unless it needs to be re-added. I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, I could check it again. I could see if it uh, maybe undid itself. Oh, no worries, Kirby. Welcome back, man. Good to see you. I could check the settings real quick, but I'm pretty sure I have it already uh, set that way. Pretty sure that you're already an approved user. Oh, let me close Discord. It's lagging out everything. I believe it's in settings, correct? Yes, yeah. Sen settings, community. Yeah, you're already set as an approved channel. So what you, if, if you're not familiar, Casey, what you have to do is you have to actually go to my stream and copy the direct stream link and then paste it in. That's the way that you have to do it. I'm not sure if that's what you were doing or not, but that's the only way that it works right now is you have to put in the actual stream link, not the channel link when trying to redirect. It's uh, not exactly the most fluid way to do things, but uh, it's really all we got at the moment. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I've because of how like uh, janky it is right now, I've complete I had completely forgot that they even added it. Like I've been meaning to raid people, but because it's like so like such a lengthy process, it's kind of just like slipped my mind that it's even a thing on YouTube right now. I really hope they make it more simplified in the future. I'd like there to just be like a raid command like there is on Twitch because that's such a, it's just such a tedious process having to approve the user, have the other user approve you, paste their stream link and then end your stream and it'll auto redirect. It's so weird. It's just such a, a weird and tedious process just to be able to raid another creator. I hope they fix it. It's pretty bad when it's like one of the most awaited features and then you for I forget that it exists because it's so poorly designed. <laughs> ah, yeah, Casey. That would be why. It it's very strange. Definitely is very strange. But uh, YouTube is aware that it's not ideal, so they, they are going to improve it with time. I just hope that they improve it sooner than later. That's a cool deer. That's a cool male. Hey, Aidsen, how's it going? Live in Minnesota and did not even know that. I'm confused. I must have missed the last message. Yeah, exactly, KC. I, I don't get why they did it the way they did it. Uh, no clue, Mr. Mister. They haven't really mentioned anything about the guns. I assume that that'll happen with time, since uh, Way of the Hunter is supposed to have a very in-depth gun system and, like, a uh, ballistic system. So I, I could definitely see Hulk Call of the Wild trying to improve it in the future to keep up with them. Uh, nobody knows yet, Zombie Gunner. But the only new species we know about as of now is the uh, Capricali, the 
um, raccoon dogs, and black grouse. As of now, those are the only new ones we know about. Uh, yes, KNX. I, I don't think it's actually what you think it is. Um, TK and and Jaxie mentioned it too. They they said that it's uh, just talking about the great one because it's a level 10, you know? That's what they said at least. Or it could be a typo even. I To be honest, I didn't even see it. I don't even know what it looked like. I'd have to go back and check, but maybe I'm missing something. Uh, no, Kitty, they have not touched the 223. Hopefully soon, though. I'm not sure, Tramp Brothers. I typically stream about two hours. So we're probably going to have, like, an hour and a half left in the stream. One hour to one and a half hours. I could, Zyphon, but uh, to be honest, I'll, I'll get it wrong anyway. And I, I kind of enjoy, like, uh, looking through what you guys say when it comes to pronunciations because I've found that a lot of times the people that live in the area know better than Google does. And so a lot of times I rely on you guys in the comments to help me with pronunciations of stuff that is hard to pronounce. Like Tiawaroa, I never would have known how to pronounce that except for the fact that uh, my New Zealand viewers were telling me how to pronounce it. And that's the only way that I ever learned how to pronounce uh, Tiawaroa. So I kind of rely on you guys for those types of uh, things, you know? Plus, it's more fun that way. It uh, gives more interaction between me and you guys, which I do enjoy. So, most of the time, I just rely on uh, the comments for pronunciations. And... Boop! Boop! Oh. Boop. Oh, miss? There, there's the boop. You know, sometimes you have to double boop to get the first boop. I don't think so, Ben. I think it's just Revan Tuli. Or Revon Tuli. I don't think there's any uh, R rolling in that one. I could be wrong, though. Oh, really, KC? Yeah, from what I remember, people were telling me that it's a uh, Capricali. But then I had other people telling me that it was pronounced a different way, so... Yeah. It's hard to know. It's probably one of those ones that can be pronounced in multiple ways. You know what? You are so pathetic. I'm going to keep you. You can stay alive. We'll leave you. Sometimes you just got to leave yourself a pet red deer on your map. Give it a name. What are we going to name that little guy? What's a... Uh, what's a, a, a common name in New Zealand? We'll, we'll name that one like a common New Zealand name. Which I, I don't actually know what that would be called. Gerald. <laughs> yes, let's name it Gerald. <laughs> That's Gerald. Oh my gosh. I, why didn't I think of that? We'll just name it Gerald because of the uh, the memes with Bigfoot. That was hilarious. <laughs> name it Tree Kiwi. Uh, we could name it TK. We'll, we'll name another one TK. That's Gerald. Uh, we'll find another level 3 and name it TK. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, it'll be nice uh, seeing all these named deer as we go by. I don't know why I shot this one. We should have just named it TK. We should name a red deer after all of the uh, community managers for Call of the Wild. You know, one thing I've kind of thought about doing before that I think would kind of be funny. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of want to get a diamond red deer to spawn or a rare and just leave it and give it a name. 
but I know it would absolutely drive everybody crazy if I just passed up a rare every time that I streamed. <laughs> but I think it could be fun. I think it could be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin. Gotcha, Mason. Yeah, that makes sense. Side of the new map because Tarmigans are the only grouse that has been in the Hunter until now. Yeah, man, I'm excited too. It's so cool to see like uh, all these different possibilities for uh, bird species. Have a pet great one. I would, but I'd be too afraid that uh, there would be like a population wipe or that my files would get corrupted and I would lose the uh, great one on the map. So I wouldn't do it with a great one, but I'd be fine with leaving like a little level five or level six albino on my map just to just to hang out with him, you know? Yes, yes, Drayden. Definitely. The rage would be real, it would. It would be funny though. I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to just leave one. I'll tell you what guys, we're going to leave the next rare or diamond we see unless it's a super rare or like above level seven. If it's a level seven plus rare, then I'll take it. And if it's a super rare, I'll take it. But the next, uh, the next diamond or small rare we find, eh, we'll just leave him and give him a name. Name it Jerry. We will have Jerry, we'll have Bob, we'll have Joseph. We'll have, uh, we'll have all the names. We could name it after the lake that we find it at, you know, lots of things. Yeah, Duxton, for sure, dude. Cause you know at this point I don't really put any uh, red deer trophies in my main lodge anymore because I've already got like for the most part I've already got the ones that I want I've already got like uh, a lot of the diamonds and rares that I want for red deer so all I'm really looking for is uh, great ones so it'd be kind of cool just to leave a little rare unless it's a melanistic of course I'll shoot a melanistic I can't pass that up And now that I've said all this, we're going to find a rare. Calling it right now. We're going to find ourselves like a little level 4 piebald or something. Something like that. That had to be spine. That had to be a spine shot right there. We'll leave that level four. What should we name him? Actually, no, nah, he's only a four. We need a level three. We need a level three, not a four. I won't settle for a level four. It has to be a three. I can almost guarantee that there's not going to be red deer in Finland map because they're so rare here. Yeah, but my thought is it's Call of the Wild. You know, it's a game that isn't meant to be like perfectly realistic. It's a little more on the arcade side and. I feel like it's still a possibility just for the fact of having two great ones on one map. Possibly even three with the, the rumors of a new one. Yeah, true, Hollow. Yeah, true. Think you have to pass on the Mela? <laughs> but, but, but what if I don't want to? Hey, Billy, how's it going, dude? It's a doe name at Petunia. We could do that. I mean, there's lots of names that we could give them. Would you leave a level 2 red here? Oh, definitely. I'd want to keep that guy forever. I feel too bad shooting him. Pass on the Mela? No. Until, until I've got one, I'm not passing on one. That is the one thing I will not pass on because I still don't have it in my lodge. Sorry, bro, bro. Not gonna happen. I can't pass on the Mellas. I can't. I need them. I 
How about some blue deer on the Finland map? I have no idea what that even is. There it is. Small meal. Ah, uh, not really, Chase. Nothing good yet. The R is rolled in Revontuli. Okay. Good to know. Revontuli. Perfect. I think. Revontuli. I think we got it. I think we got it down. There really nothing over there? Guess not. So where did those ones move to? Oh, right here. <laughs> There's our three. What are we naming this one, guys? What are we going to name this guy? Are we naming it TK? Is that TK? I think this is TK. That's TK. We'll name that one TK. And then we're going to hope that I uh, don't forget that we're leaving it alive. Because I would, uh, I'd hate to have to tell T TK that I shot his deer. How many diamond feral goats do I have? I think I've only got five or six. I've been really unlucky with them. I've been trolled like 28 plus times on feral goats. They're one of my hardest to get diamonds. Smallest one needs to be named Flinter. Oh my. Oh, poor Flinter. Yeah, we gotta do it. If we find a level 2, we're naming it Flinter. We'll do it. A level 2 will be Flinter. Uh, there it is. I was gonna say, where did it go? I looked down at chat for two seconds, and then I look back up and I can't find the red deer. Yeah, Grubhub, I remember you. Of course I do. Of course I remember you. You've been at the channel for a long time. Splinter just got roasted. He did. Dustin smoked him. Dustin absolutely smoked him. Somebody clip that and send it to Flinter. <laughs> Just gonna call the new map Ratatouille instead? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Gotta find the great one and nuke it with 22s. Yes. Yes. Of course. I already know what I'm gonna do if, uh, if a new great one ends up being a bird. I can already see the t the title. I shot the great one with a 22. It's going to confuse so many people into thinking that I messed one up purposely. When in reality, it's a bird, so I shot it with the 22. It'd be beautiful. Yeah, Grubhub, we got a new map soon. It was just revealed that it is going to be Finland. Which is amazing news. Finland with 19 species. Like, can you even believe that? 19 species on a Call of the Wild map. That's just unheard of. How many bird shot does it take to kill a great one red deer with the big wreck? Beautiful. Beautiful. What new species am I most excited for? Well, since there's only been a couple announced, as of now, it's the, uh, the Capricallis. If, if, if I'm even pronouncing that right. <laughs> I think I am at this point. It seems like that's uh, what I've been told the most on how to pronounce it is roughly Capricali or Capricali, whichever one. You know, somebody was actually complaining in my comments earlier that I should look up everything before I uh, pronounce it on things that I don't know how to pronounce. And I, I just straight up told him, if I did that, 
people like you wouldn't be com commenting that I got it wrong, so... What would be the point in doing that? New map's probably gonna be super laggy because of all the new animals. I don't think so. I actually don't think it'll be laggy if it's uh, mainly birds and small game. I don't think it'll be laggy. My guess would be it's gonna have a lot of birds. Yes, yeah, same, Duxton. People confuse me as well. You know, it's almost like most uh, content creators want to have interaction with their community and actually, you know, talk with their community. Why would I do the research on, like, pronunciations when I could just talk to you guys about how to pronounce it? It's a lot more fun when I get the, uh, the answers from you guys, and I can get more, like, straight answers when I'm asking all of you. Because, like I said, Google wouldn't be able to tell me how to pronounce Tiawaroa, but people that live in New Zealand can, uh, tell me a lot more closely as to how to pronounce it. Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Amazing. I think it's pretty safe to say we will get Mallards, uh, K and X. I do think we will get Mallards. Well, we weren't necessarily talking about that one, Jesper. The guy that commented was just talking in general. I was just using, uh, like, Tiawaroa as an example, you know? It, I wasn't saying that it's only words that are in, uh, that are from other countries that I may not understand. I was just saying that as an example. I'm really surprised we got that last one. Is 25 square miles bigger than usual? Uh, no, that is the typical size. It's the same size as every other map in Call of the Wild. Uh, no, I'm not done with the grind for the whitetail. I'm doing both. I'm still doing both because I know for a fact that, uh, once this map drops, I'm going to spend all my time there. And so I want to get our, uh, great one off of Tiawaroa and Rancho before the update. Because as of now, we don't know how much time we have until this update drops. And, uh, since there's pretty much always early access for content creators... I'm gonna have to start making content for the new map earlier than than it will be revealed, you know? Like, I'm gonna have to get things prepared, which will mean I'll have less time to grind for the red deer here on Tiabaroa. I'll have less time to go for the whitetail, so I'm trying to get it done before the update. Oh, nah, you didn't miss a great one, SK. It would have probably already been in a video if I had got one. Nice shots. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. The Mellow Red Deer is so beautiful. Hey, Buckbuster, how's it going, dude? You haven't missed anything as of now. Uh, later, Ruposfari. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Sorry, once again, I probably got it wrong, but, uh, hope you have a good night, man. Hope you have a good night. Hey, Ryan, I'm doing good. Doing very well. Doing uh, even better than I was because of the fact we got our uh, announcement of the new map. 
super excited at the moment. And nothing here. Okay, maybe I should uh, go back to the regular binoculars for now. Excuse me, why are you still up in the trees? Well, we got one at least. Let's take him down. Just passed a herd of reds? Yeah. I know. They didn't have any stags in them. Yeah, true, Johnny. True. Oh, that's unfortunate, SK. Was it on your map or was it on somebody else's map? If it was on your own, you might be able to find it still. Alright, let's hope there's some stags here this time. Last uh, couple runs, there's been minimal stags, which is unfortunate. Well, there's two. Three. Okay, that's one more than last time, so I'll take it. It's an improvement, at least. Alright, perfect. We got them all. I think so, Buckbuster. It looks pretty good. Even if the map itself isn't, like, my favorite visually, which uh, it's hard to say as of now. We haven't seen a lot of it. Even if it ends up not being my favorite map uh, overall, like with looks wise, I think the fact that it's got 19 species is going to make it pretty high on my list of maps because of the, the variety. Part of the things for me with a map is how many options I have for hunting. It's one of the reasons Medved is so low and is my worst map. The reason that I think Medved's like one of the worst maps in the game is because it's got such a small amount of species. There's only six species on Medved, and because of that, I lose, like, interest in hunting a lot of them. So I think the fact that it has 19 species is going to make this map one of the most replayable maps in the entire game. It's gonna be pretty incredible. Gosh, the content for this is gonna be insane. It's gonna take me so long to get all the diamonds and all the rares. It's going to be so nice, to be honest. Oh, definitely, Billy. It needs them bad. If Medved gets more animals, it'll definitely go up on my list. If we can get a couple cool species on Medved, it will definitely bump up in my list of favorite maps. Because as of now, that's all that's holding him back is lack of species and uh, the species that are currently there being a bit too difficult to uh, hunt, like Lynx. I don't know why they're getting rid of their need zones that's, or their drink zones. They were already difficult to hunt. I don't, I don't see why they would get rid of them. Yeah, Mel, you better. You better go get that thing so you can uh, focus on the new map. That's what I'm doing right now, trying to get these uh, great ones down so that I can focus on the new content. Eh, it's hard to say, Drayden. I think those are just moose tracks. Uh, to be honest, though, I don't think it really means anything. I don't even think that that image was a hint. Typically, they pin all of the hints that were confirmed as hints. And that one has not been pinned in their uh, clues chat, so I don't actually think that that Medved picture was a clue. I think it was just a normal stream picture. I really don't think that that one was a clue. Ah, uh, maybe Duxton. I mean, it's about a month away from, like, the normal release time, so... I think that it, uh, I think it's about the same time that they normally start revealing the map. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is pretty normal. 
Yeah, that's not Mela. I always gotta check just to make sure. Yeah, I don't think it was a hint. I think if anything, it was probably to throw us off. Yeah, me neither, uh, Chase. I guess the argument for Springbok is actually pretty realistic. Uh, Springbok apparently don't drink that much. Apparently, they rely on, like, the, um... I guess the juices from the grass and stuff that they eat, like the brush that they eat. And, uh, things like that. And that's where they get a lot of their hydration, is from eating. So, I guess for uh, those, it's realistic. I know, right, Johnny? That's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait to hunt this map for Red Deer in the daytime. It will be huge. It's gonna be huge. I just hope uh, my Red Deer are still as good as they have been. Yeah, the download time is probably going to be rough. It's probably going to be a pretty large update, I imagine. Hard to say, though. Jeez, another mythical. We have been seeing a lot of uh, mythicals recently. Love to see it. Why do people not like Hirsch? Uh, it's primarily just because it's really brushy and the drink zones are kind of placed poorly. That's the big thing, really. It's just a, a lot more difficult to hunt than other maps that have the same species. So most people, if they want to hunt Fallow, they'll choose Tiabaroa. If they want to hunt Rodeer, they'll choose Quattro. That's really what it comes down to. But since Hirschfelden's getting a uh, population redistribution, that might change. Hirschfelden might actually be pretty good after this update. I mean, there's no denying that it's a beautiful map. It's uh, just unfortunately not the best hunting for each of those species. I think so, Jack. I think the thing with uh, the chamois is that they get a lot of their hydration from the dew up in the mountains. Oh gosh, Mason. Gotta love those delayed notifs. They're great. Amazing. Doesn't surprise me though. YouTube being typical YouTube. Ah, I'm more of an AR guy, uh, Buckbuster. Both platforms are good, but I do prefer the AR platform. Oh yeah, for real, Johnny. That's crazy. My only rare fox is from Yukon, so the fact that you found one on Hirsch is wild. Checking the ghost on Ranch over Whitetail. Nice, McFishing. There should be some down there. Got the albino, got an albino bull rosy today. Favorite trophy to date. Nice, Jack. That's awesome. I don't have very good luck with the diamond, or not diamond, but the rare elk. I always get very poor luck with them. Yeah, I have no idea where this other dime, or not diamond, where this other one went. Nice, Expo. So far, eight days of traveling. Jeez, Mason, that's so much travel. That is a lot of traveling, man. Hey, 
Hey, Ty, how's it going? What are you thinking about this new map uh, announcement? Ooh, nice mythical. That's a strange looking level six. My gosh, there's so many. Nice cash. Uh, just over 2,000, Jack. Just over 2,000 into this grind. It's been an unfortunately long one. Best way to earn money in Call of the Wild besides geese? Um... To be honest, what I'm doing right now, I think uh, grinding red deer is one of the better ways. Hey, Gerald. Sorry, Gerald, your friend was, uh, he was big enough to shoot, so, yeah. Nice, Mason. Um, there is no way to track uh, individual uh, species kills, uh, Rylan. There's just like an overall kills counter, but uh, when it comes to like specific species, you have to, um... You have to actually just keep track yourself, unfortunately. Yeah, Levi, they revealed the trailer this morning. They revealed the first teaser trailer and there's 19 species on this map. 19 species on the Finland map. It's kind of ridiculous. If you haven't already, I'd recommend checking out the video I posted this morning. I covered like all the, the stuff that they revealed about it and uh, everything that was on their Steam page about it. For the first time ever, they already put it on the Steam store and all other platforms for uh, to wishlist. There was some more photos on their website. There was. I've only seen the photos uh, on Steam. And then the one that they use as their banner. You telling me I missed a few? I'm gonna have to go check those out then. Big mail. Oh yeah, tons of new animal. Tons of them. Alright, let's see. Let's see the home page. Oh yeah, it says welcome to Finland. Okay. So where would the images be? Huh, I don't see them. Maybe I'm missing it. Uh, could you link it to me, Mel? Because I'm not seeing it. Is it in Discord as well, maybe? Yeah, it probably will be a lot of bird species. You saw some on Twitter? Okay. Oh, wow, Mel. That's crazy. That first picture, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let me just uh, save these so I can show them on stream real quick.
Let's save these images. Those are beautiful. Wow. Yeah, this map's going to be gorgeous. I can already tell it's going to be great. Three hours till Vegas. Nice, Mason. Alright, let's bring the first image up real quick. Look at that. Beautiful. Now for the next one, this is probably my favorite. Oof. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, I could totally see myself uh, hunting some ducks here. This is uh, pretty great. Absolutely gorgeous, man. And the last one. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is going to be a cool map. It's definitely going to be a cool and unique map. Uh, wait, is that one not showing? Hello? Why isn't the last one showing? Um, what about this? Oh, there we go. There it goes. Finally, it's showing. There's the last one. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be great. Also, hold on. Let me refresh my chat. It froze again. Once again, it froze. Thank you, uh, thank you, YouTube. Doing great today. YouTube being YouTube as always. Oh no, Bill, that's rough. Uh, did we miss anything since we took a few minutes to look at images? Oh, ah. Is that a piebald? Hold on. No, it's not. Okay. That looked like a piebald for a second, but it's not. I mean, it looks so piebald from this angle, but I don't think it is. No, it's definitely not. I think it's just the brush being in front of it and making it look weird. Oh, yeah, it's just a normal red deer. There we go. It's a lie bald. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's hilarious. It seems like there is, uh, Kaysen. Jaxie Beard and TK were hinting very hard at a uh, new great one. To the point where there's pretty much no denying that there's going to be a new one. Now it's just a matter of what will the new one be. Um, let's go ahead and jump to Rancho now. Let's do a little bit of uh, whitetail grinding. I don't think it'll be Moose uh, Ty. It could be, but uh, it's definitely not my first choice. I still think one of the new species will have a great one. That's my guess. Because, like, what better way to build hype than releasing a new species that already has a great one? I think that would be cool. Or maybe even multiple bird great ones. Could you imagine, like, uh, multiple bird great ones? I 
I don't know. I just don't think they would have had enough time to make a full-on moose great one. With how much is going to be on this map, just from what they've told us, I don't think they would have had enough time. Oh, that's the wrong time. I don't think they would have had enough time to actually make a moose great one, because that would take a lot of work. A bird, though. It wouldn't take as much work to make a bird great one. Yep, that's the grinder's life, Duxton. That is the grinder's life. The one downside to uh, grinding quickly. If I have... Uh, I do. I do have the M1 with me. Let's just swap those. Swap them again. Swap scopes. I think we need... Yeah, there we go. Alright, we got quite a few whitetail out. At least he's got 10 mil true. I don't really have to worry about the uh, the cost too much. All these great one grinds have made sure of that. Oh wow, David. Uh, that's, that's rough. I know it's possible, but that's unfortunate. Uh, not really, Eli. Yeah, I did too, Duxton. That's why I decided to use it a bit. Though it's not quite as good as the 308. It's still fun to use every once in a while, you know? Let's get these. Oh, that's a one. Hilarious. Small male. Ah, oh, we should have let it live and called it a uh, Gerald again. Yeah, but we already got a Gerald with the red deer. We'll, we'll let the white tail get smoked as normal. What's one aspect that I want in a map? Large variety of species. A uh, large variety of antlered species, those are two things I, I like. For me, a map either has to have a lot of antlered and horned species, or just an absurd amount of unique species. Is that a deer? Yes, it is. Oh wow, Buck, I've heard of that being a thing that can happen, but it's very rare. Spotted a level 5 muley guaranteed diamond, but can't find it at any of the lakes? Um, hmm. I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's a tough one. It's unfortunately one of those things where you're just gonna have to keep looking until you can figure out where it went. Me too, Eli. That's gonna be so cool. They're such a cool species to hunt. Raccoon dogs are gonna be great. I didn't even know what they were until I looked it up and they look like a pretty fun species. 
It's kind of crazy just how much they resemble an extra fat raccoon. Unfortunately, I did see a few people getting confused at the name raccoon dog. They were thinking it was going to be like a dog for like uh, treeing raccoons, which that that's not what it is. Unfortunately, for the people that thought it was, that's that's not what it is. Nice, SK. Super great gun or a uh, super great caliber, I should say. All right, later, Bill. Gotcha, Mel. Maybe they should have just called them that. Uh, to be honest, I think that probably would have been a better bet for them would be to call them that so that it's not uh, confused. Hey, Bubbles. How's it going? Have you seen uh, all the stuff relating to the new map, Bubbles? It seems uh, pretty incredible. It's hard to say, uh, Zaven. I think it'll be a good game, but we haven't seen enough to know whether or not it'll be better. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Tons of big things are happening. Stop by my grandparents in Kentucky and my grandma or grandpa let me shoot his 20 gauge. Nice, Mason. I hope so, Smash. I hope we do. Nice, Owen. Nice, SK. That sounds like it'd be a fun time. All right, guys. I know, I know we just started hunting the whitetail. But uh, I'm feeling a little bit uh, rough, so I might end the stream. Feeling a little bit nauseous from uh, something I ate earlier. So I think I'll probably go ahead and end the stream here. I appreciate you all dropping by, though. But uh, I'm going to hop off and uh, go lay down for a little bit. And then uh, probably finish the editing for tomorrow's video. But anyway, I appreciate you all dropping in as always. And I just, I just beat my mic. Sorry, microphone. Oh, Aaliyah says bye, too. So uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.